Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into Vibrato on the Aerophone Wind Synthesizer. Vibrato control might sound simple, but there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Whether you're a wind synth beginner or a seasoned analog instrument player, mastering Vibrato can add a whole new dimension to your performance. There are many ways to produce vibrato by leveraging the physical properties of the instrument or voice to achieve the desired effect. For example, string instruments stretch strings by rapid hand movements, and woodwinds like the saxophone use bite pressure against a reed to bend a note's pitch. But with wind synths like the aerophone, we aren't bound by these physical constraints. We have a host of settings to control how vibrato is produced. Vibrato can be automatic with parameters like delay, rate, and amplitude pre-programmed and triggered when a note is played. We can also dynamically control vibrato through various inputs such as lip pressure on the bite sensor, thumb lever, tilt position, or an assigned control key like S1. Today I'll show you how to set up the bite sensor and tilt to control vibrato amplitude and rate in a way a sax player might not like. The usual setup is designed to make the aerophone to be played like a saxophone. And the first thing any aerophone user must do is set the breath controls which directly or indirectly includes vibrato. Sax players spend years cultivating an embouchure, crucial for maintaining sound quality and pitch. They produce vibrato by bending pitch around the target note at a desired rate and amplitude through constant tightening and loosening of the embouchure. Well-trained saxophonists do this automatically without thinking. When faced with a wind synth, saxophonists typically program it to mimic their analog instrument. On the other hand, non-saxophonists may prefer to simply blow into the instrument and play in tune, adding vibrato as needed without sacrificing intonation or causing lower lip fatigue. The Aerophone offers many options for reducing vibrato, including control over amplitude and rate. After experimenting with various combinations, I'll illustrate the method that works best for me. The Aerophone can be programmed to change vibrato amplitude with bite pressure. The illustration shows the desired outcome where vibrato amplitude can be adjusted with steady pressure on the bite sensor. The next illustration shows that vibrato rate can be changed using tilt controls. For example, by tilting the aerophone left, we can increase the rate. By tilting right, we can decrease it. The vibrato rate in the center position will depend somewhat on where the instrument was last tilted. Here are some short examples of changing vibrato amplitude and rate. The first is a simple note starting without vibrato. Amplitude is increasing by biting down on the sensor, which you obviously cannot see. However, by waving the aerophone to the left and to the right, the rate goes faster and slower. Towards the end of the video, scent position tends to hold on to the faster rate from the last swing of the instrument. The second video is taken from my YouTube of Schubert's Arpeggion Cello Sonata. Notice how the vibrato amplitude varies. The rate also slows down as the phrase ends. The goal here is to be more subtle and support phrasing. To dynamically control vibrato, first go to the menu on the aerophone and select Bite Control Mode and set it to sax. Next, set the bite center of the sax to a low number, 
I set it to 5. You can adjust it to your preference. Assign control of byte to scene, as different scenes will have different vibrato requirements. Open the Areaphone app and choose the scene you want to modify. Once in the app, go to the editor and then click Internal and a new menu will pop up. In the new menu, go to Byte Down and select the sideways carrot. Another menu will pop up. For the first setting, set the Assign function to CC01 Modulation. Go back to the Editor menu. The next step is to do a long press on the scene name, which will bring up another menu. Click on the down caret to the right and select Scene Offset from the list. In the new menu, select Parameters Relevant to Vibrato. This step can customize vibrato control of your particular scene. For dynamic control of vibrato rate, first go to the Instrument menu again, then Motion Control Mode and set it to Normal. Then assign control of motion to scene, as different scenes will have different vibrato requirements. In the app, Go to the editor and then click Common. Then scroll down to Motion 1 and set it for Tilt Left. And then go to Motion 2 and set it for Tilt Right. This sets the direction for Tilt Control. And then lastly, go to the editor again, click Internal, and then Motion. Set 1 and 2 to CC76 vibration rate. There are many parameters and choices when it comes to controlling vibrato on the aerophone. For me, it's a constant work in progress, but yet the aerophone can truly stand on its own merits, not just as a substitute for another instrument. It took me a few months and playing different pieces of music to settle on the parameters selected here. I leave my early Aerophone videos up to document my journey through the instrument settings, both good and not so good. Remember, scene settings depend on the instrument, breath, and movement needs, and motion controls are mainly used for solo string scenes, especially in classical and romantic music. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below with your own tips or questions about controlling vibrato on the Aerophone.